Hi, welcome to this short video on a uh, certification exam. And in particular, I'm going to talk about the NVIDIA Certified Associate uh, Generative AI LLM exam or NCA Gen L. Um, this exam review is from Thomas Plunkett. And I'm going to just talk a, a briefly at a high level about this exam and some things to keep in mind if you're planning on taking this exam. I recently took this exam in May of 2025. So if you're listening to this uh, somewhere uh, sometime relatively uh, similar time frame, then maybe uh, this material and information will be helpful for you. All right, so let's dive in and let's take a look at the exam. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift over to taking a look at NVIDIA's website. So if you go over to their main certification page, uh, nvidia.com slash nus slash learn certification, and it'll talk about getting certified by NVIDIA, and it mentions all their certification exams. Now, they split up their exams into two different categories. They've got an infrastructure professional category and a developer category. Um, I've actually taken several of these exams. Um, I've taken the infrastructure certified uh, associate AI infrastructure and operations exam. I took that one in March. I've also taken um, the Gen AI exam. We're going to talk about it. I took that one in May. And I also took the modal, multimodal generative AI exam in May. But I'll talk about that one in a separate uh, webinar. And actually also talk about that operations exam in a separate webinar as well. Um, I actually took these two, both the Gen AI and the multimodal Gen AI on the same day. So I'll talk a little bit about how that worked. Um, so if we click in on this uh, link for the Gen AI LLM exam, which I am talking about in this webinar, it brings us over here. And it talks a little about the exam and the fact that the exam's online, it's practiced remotely, including 15 que 50 questions, and has a 60-minute time limit. So I thought the 60-minute time limit was fine. I had enough time to go through all the questions and review all the questions and be happy with my answers. Now, taking the exam remotely, you do have to have your desk cleared off. Uh, and no other electronic equipment on your desk. And they will be watching you through a webcam, so you have to use a computer that is equipped with a webcam. Um, the price is $125, but NVIDIA does from time to time offer discounts. If you're going to an event or something, you might get it for a uh, discount. Um, on here, we list the they list the topics covered in the exam, you know, fundamentals, machine learning, neural networks, prompt engineering, data analysis, visualization, experiments, pre-processing, and so on. Um, I would say that probably two-thirds to 75% of the questions are general in nature, and somewhere between a quarter and a third of the questions are specific to NVIDIA technologies. Um, you do not need to be a hands-on programmer for this exam. There are no hands-on programming questions, but obviously, if you've been doing machine learning and neural networks, um, it'll be very helpful in answering the questions. There is an exam study guide, which I am going to click over to take a look at now. But before we get there, let's talk about the exam blueprint. Um, they actually, the exam actually has five sections. Um, here they're saying, listing the percentages. I don't know if the exam percentages are identical to that. Um, but here they list 30%, 24%, 22%, 14%, and 10%. Now, if this is the exact way the exam breaks down, since there's 50 questions, if each question is worth 2%, then that would mean like 15 questions on core machine learning and five questions on trustworthy AI, for example. And I think that's uh, very similar to what my experience was on the exam. So I think this is probably the exact uh, breakdown of the questions. Now, they also list here a number of courses you can take, and they even put price tags on them. Now, I did not take any of the courses they listed here. However, I have taken um, I have taken a course on machine learning from a university. I took a course on deep learning from a university. I've done data science stuff in the past. And I also did take a prep course from Udemy, which I'll talk about later. Uh, then they list some additional materials uh, down here, and then their study guide has additional materials. So let's go take a look at the study guide. So here is the study guide. It's a PDF for the Gen Generative AI LLM exam. And basically, it goes through each of the sections. Again, it shows you the weights in the sections. Um, 
just as a heads up, when I took this exam, um, I don't remember exactly what I got in each section, but I do know that I, for three of the sections, I got 95% of the questions right, and the other two sections, I got 80% of the questions right. I think you can pass this exam with a score somewhere in the 60s, so you know, I got far more right than I needed to. All right, so um, the study guide begins talking a little bit about job description. I'm going to skip over that. And then it goes into each of the topics. Now, for each of the topics, it'll give a list, like for core machine learning, it kind of gives skill list. And then it gives um, course objectives, um, listing various references to the courses they're trying to position with this certification exam, and then gives suggested readings. I highly recommend reading these suggested readings. Um, I actually read through all of these suggested readings, or at least, you know, perused them briefly uh, the day of the exam. And I think that I saw uh, a question related to pretty much every single one of these readings. Now, I did not read through the depths of all the papers. Like, we have the attention is all you need paper. I, I focused on the highlights for that paper. Now, that's a paper I'd read, I'd read before. Uh, but for some of these paper research papers, I you know, like the Laura low rank adapt adaptation of large language models, I kind of reviewed it at a high level. I didn't read all the details of the paper. And, and you don't really need to read all the technical details, but just have a high level understanding of what's Laura useful for. Um, how is this an efficiency when handling large language models? The same thing for attention in the transformer model. Um, understanding the basic concept and where the benefits are, you don't absolutely need to be an expert on it to pass the exam. Um, so again, each of these sections, five sections, has a list of references. Highly recommend in reading through them because you will see questions. Like I said, I think from nearly every reference I saw a question. Um, Let's take another look. Um, I actually went through, since I took the two exams, the two LM exams on the same day. Um, so, you know, I took um, both the generative AI LM exam and the multimodal generative AI exam on the same day. I actually took two different study, study courses while I was studying. Uh, one of those courses was um, the NVIDIA Certified Associate Gen AI LM course. And then I took a separate course that was uh, designed for the multimodal AI, AI exam. And these were from two different instructors on Udemy. Um, the, 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 the Gen AI LM exam is for, taught by multimodal AI learning. Um, the Gen AI multimodal exam was taught by Andrew Larkin. Um, now let's talk a little bit about those two courses and the, co the, the different course developers who created them. Um, they're very different courses. Uh, they're both instructors who also create courses for lots of other vendors like AWS and so on. Uh, and so some of their material is actually being reused from other courses. So, for example, in the Manifold AI learning course, it's pretty obvious that most of their materials were used in the AWS machine learning course. Um, in the Andrew Larkin course, it's also obvious some of those materials were reused from other courses, uh, but he has a little bit more specific materials for NVIDIA. So I thought his course was a little more focused on NVIDIA. Uh, the other course was mostly AWS materials. Uh, that being said, both courses were excellent. Um, the Manifold AI learning course was an excellent review of machine learning and deep learning and associated technologies. Uh, Andrew Larkin really um, provided some great prep questions. It was much more preparing you for handling the questions and not so much getting into the technical details of machine learning. Um, so they both took a different perspective. I thought they both offered great value. And the price tags for those courses was pretty low at the time I signed up. Um, you know, I think um, the Manifold Learning was like $10.00. And the Andrew Larkin course was maybe $30, $40, $50, hours, something like that. Um, certainly a lot less than some of the prep courses that NVIDIA was offering, you know, for $500 and so forth. All right, you know, $90, $500, and so on. Okay, um, so that is a brief look at um, the certification exam. Uh, one comment I will make is that... Um, 
you know, the study courses that they're recommending for this exam, they're not that long. They're like a day or a couple days. The Udemy courses, similarly, the Andrew Larkin course was under a day. The uh, Manifold Learning was a couple days. Um, so, you know, they're not suggesting you need a tremendous amount of content under your belt to take this exam. You don't need hands-on practice with NVIDIA Tech. It helps if you've used it, uh, but it's not absolutely necessary. Because, uh, again, this is an associate-level exam. It's focused on the concepts. And so and it also helps prepare you for understanding how people are actually using LLMs today. So, again, I highly recommend, um, you know, studying before you take the exam if you're planning on taking the exam and i do recommend taking the exam because it's a good uh chance for you to evaluate yourself uh how you're doing and learning this material so uh thanks for joining this uh video on the nvidia certified associate exam for generative ai lms um this has been my review by uh, thomas Flunkett. and uh tune in next time when i will cover another one of the exams